Hello, today I will let you know how to use Topolino decoder for ESEO R6 XR6 Plus. The models you can open with these two are written here, so you have to stay on those models and you cannot go on the superior models because they are different at the inside. How to use these two? We have here a, a key, a reset device, handle, and here we have sliding pins, independently sliding pins, and a bar for insertion and extraction of the tool. The first thing you have to do is to reset your pins. See the arrow here, reset. And that arrow must be pointed to the arrow of the plastic setup device. Just push to the bottom, slide back this uh, black black button, slide it back. That is very important that the bottom is back. And then you have to inject this key in every hole on the setup device. Just insert and push. The point of the key will push your pins in the start position. Now the tool is ready, but let's see this scenario. If we, if we by mistake reverse the tool and we try to reset it when the tool is reversed, there is no pins and uh, we're not gonna break the tool, but we didn't uh, we didn't push any pin in that position because they are on the other side. So this mistake only affect to the pin reset. You cannot destroy the tool in that way. Second step is to be sure that the lock you have in front of you is a model R6 or S R6 Plus. Then push to the front the button, orientate the tool correctly. In the case you work with this cell, the bottom should be down when the lock is mounted normally on the door. Keep the bottom with the finger. Insert the tool all the way in. Slide the bottom back. Now the pins of the lock have access to the sliding pins of the tool. And then you have to make a rotation to the left and release the rotation. Left, release. The force of this left rotation is limited by the stop of the tool. The tool turn a little bit and then stop. Of course, you can access a little bit more the power of your rotation, but there is no sense to do that. Just see when it stop and release. The only thing you have to do is to repeat that movement. One good sign for the functionality of the tool is when you release the force of the rotation, you hear the clicks of returning pins of the lock. That click or those clicks are the sign for functionality. In one moment, the clicks will disappear and probably in that moment you will unlock. They didn't disappear right now, but usually they disappear. Now, you are able to lock, to unlock how many times is necessary till the tool is in the lock. To extract the tool, you should go in a neutral lock position and then push this black button forward till it stop. Only then you are able to extract the tool. If you don't push the button. 
if you don't push it to the front and you keep it here or somewhere in the middle, you're not able to extract the tool. Uh, also, the tool give you an option to repeat the opening because it memorized the actual, the actual code of the lock. Then extract, push forward, extract. At this moment, if your objective was to open, you're done. If you want to decode this particular lock and to cut the working key for that lock, of course, you can use your setup device, insert it correctly, remember arrow to arrow, push all the way in the tool, and then look at teeny lines in your setup device. You have to go in the first position, of course, slide back this. That is very important. If you are here, sooner or later you bend the bar which extract the pins and you have to send uh, the tool for uh, repairing. So avoid to inject this when the bottom is forward. Keep it back, go in the, in the hole, touch the pin and count the lines. When we have situation like this, this is maximum deep pin and it stops on the first line at the bottom. It's cut number five or number six if you count to zero. This is a high pin, cut number two, and so on. You can discover the mechanical lock of the code. The mechanical code of the lock. Uh, here at the back side of your handle, you see a hole. If you inject this and bend it, there is a cover and here you will see a plastic bag with a spare pins. You have every tool is, uh, will be sell with, uh, with the spare pins. They are pretty small and in one additional video we can show you how to change the pins those uh, particular pins, how to change them, very easy and fast. The tool is set it up, all bolts in the handle are in specific position and they are tight and fixed. So you don't have to, to play with those bolts. If you try to, to do something by yourself, keep in mind that you can, uh, that you probably will um, destroy the set the setting of the tool and to lose the openings so do not touch the bolts what else you don't need to lubricate nothing here just reset open and this is this is the tool okay thank you for watching this video please do not try to use uh, for any different locks than ESL R6, R6 Plus. It's work only for that because of the profile and because of the configuration of this lock. Thank you for watching and good luck with Turbo Recover or Lucky Locks products. Namaste.